when we check whether a model is identified or not and when we consider which estimation technique to apply it is important to understand the difference between recursive and non-recursive simultaneous equations models. Klein explains the difference with this figure and uh, he differentiates between uh, the recursive and non-recursive models. So these on the left hand side are recursive and these on the right hand side are non-recursive. The key feature of recursive models is that all effects are unidirectional so there are no bidirectional relationships and all disturbances or error terms are uncorrelated. So we can see here that they're all arrows going the same one direction only and no arrows backwards and these two error terms are uncorrelated. In non-recursive models here we have feedback loops and we have uh, correlated disturbances. So the feedback loop is here y1 influences y2 and y2 influences y1 back. So this is some kind of equilibrium model here. And uh, so these are two extremes we have um, here both a feedback loop and correlated disturbances. There are also uh, cases where you have correlated disturbances but you don't have feedback loops and these two cases are here. Uh, these are different in an important way. So this is something called bow free pattern and it's considered recursive and uh, this is considered non-recursive because there's a bow pattern. So what does it mean that it has a bow pattern? The, the bow pattern is here so we have this this arc here and then we have this bow string here. So if you put the arc and the bow string together then it looks like a bow that you would use in archery. So uh, this is considered non-recursive and this is recursive. The terminology or how these two type of models are classified varies a bit depending on, on different sources. So I have not read a single book where this is considered a recursive model but some books label this as non-recursive because of the correlated disturbance here. The important thing uh, about estimation and identification is that uh, the models on the left hand side are always identified and they can also be consistently estimated with normal regression analysis. So because there are no bows, so there's no endogeneity, we can see here this is an endogeneity problem because the error term of, of y2 correlates with y1, this cannot be consistently estimated with OLS. And this feedback loop here cannot be consistently estimated with OLS either. But here we don't have any endogeneity problems, so all error terms are uncorrelated with all predictors that can be estimated with OLS. The uh, estimation and identification on the models on the left hand side is very straightforward. The estimation and identification on the models on the right hand side is a lot more challenging.